Hello everyone, this is Ted with OA X-Ray and today we're going to show you how to use OA X-Ray on Kohl's.com to find some deals. Okay, so first we're going to go to the Kohl'swebsite.com. It's a supported website. If you go to OAXray.com slash supported, you can see all the websites that we support. It's over um, three or 400 now, actually. But I'm going to type in toys. Let's see. Now I already have OAXray installed. You can see it right here. I'm going to run it on a few pages and see what comes up. Um, one of the things that you can do on this website is put it to 120 per page. This is going to make the pages load a little bit slower, but it is less clicking around. So I'm going to show you this here. Now one thing about this is you're going to notice that items that are in the advertisement right here, items that are in the price drop and all these different boxes, if they're on the, if it's advertisement from Kohl's, generally it will get picked up. So don't be surprised if in this one we see some clothing and some other items. So I'm on page two and I'm just going to click on the OA X-ray extension, left click, and I'll move over to page three. Scroll myself down, see if we find any deals. And I think three pages is going to be enough. Whenever I look at um, the completion, there's actually a little completion bar here. I'll show it to you. Um, as you can see, there's 386, uh, 591. They're still loading right now, but let's see what we find. Now, one thing you're going to notice about my screen is it only shows green. That's because there's a automatic filter set up basically right here. I put in one is the lowest sales rank. This gets rid of all the zero sales rank items here. We have, it goes all the way up to 2.5 million. I'm doing this just for show to show you guys how to scout. So this um, is not representative of probably what you're going to set because the categories vary. And here we have the ROI. So by putting in these numbers, it filters out everything else automatically. So if it doesn't have a 10% ROI minimum, it um, will not show up on the screen. So everything here will be a 10% ROI minimum. Uh, by looking at the pictures, we can kind of see what might be here, what's not. I'm going to check this first item. For some reason it didn't download the image, but I can get um, the images updated. There must be some uh, technical reason. I'll talk to the crew about this one. Well, I guess there's just no image here. So wooden kids craft, wooden uh, cook, wooden kitchen. Okay, there we go. It took a while to load, but it's still here. Um, here we can see the item. I don't see a price, so let me see if I can come up with a price here. Ranked 1 million in toys, 2,000 million there. Okay, so I'm going to go to over here. Oh, maybe there's nothing listed. 43 ratings, December 2019. Okay, looks like there's nothing listed here, but it does appear to be the correct one. Free shipping, so we're not going to have to pay anything for shipping. And it looks like an, I can actually add this to cart. Now on this one, um, I have no idea what the selling price on this thing would be. So I would probably take the risk. Now what you're going to notice down here is that the rank is... Um, one and a half million, but it's probably because they have nothing in stock. And here we can see the product dimensions, 23, 12, 36, 19 pounds. So this is going to be a good amount in shipping. So let me pull up the Amazon calculator. The easiest way to do this is to scroll down and find the ASIN right here, A-S-I-N. Copy, paste it in there. And I'm going to say, what if I double the price to $199.99? And I don't know what it's going to cost to ship to Amazon. Let's see. Ship to Amazon. It is a 20 pound item. It could probably fit two per box. It's probably going to be $10 for a box of two. So I'm going to put that here. Let's see, calculate, recalculate. 146 is what I'll net. So on something like this, I might even go 250. 
Um, I like to actually get the items that are out of stock because no one is probably, it's very unlikely someone's going to buy this item to flip it. So because it's heavy, because it's a little bit here, but what I see is that this is 20 pounds, um, 1.5 million in rank. So most people are going to stay away from this item. This is an item that I really like because everyone else will stay away in most cases. But what can I glean from this item? Well, I can see that it has 43 ratings. On average, what I get when I do, um, when it, whenever I'm looking at how things are rated, generally you only get a rating about 1% of the time. So I multiply 43 by 100 to represent the um, number of sales that have probably occurred. Right now we are in, we're not even halfway through uh, 2021. So I would say it's probably 18 months right now this has been out. As we can see right here, the release date's December 4th, 2019. So from there we can glean that it's probably had 4,300 sales or so. So I'm gonna divide that by 18. And I get about 238 units per month. It's hard to tell when this went out of stock. I guess I can check Keepa. So let me see if this is worth the time. I'm not sure if Keepa even offers free tracking anymore, free lookups, but I think it does. They've changed what they do a few times. So it looks like on Amazon. And uh oh, let's see. There's not much price history. Okay, so we're not gonna glean much information from Keepa. So what I would do with a product like this is buy two or four, because I know that uh, two will probably fit in your average box if you look at the package dimensions here. So we can put two in a box. Um, we're gonna spend 99 on it. It's gonna be free shipping to my house. Let me see if I can find that item right there. Free shipping to my house, plus there might be a way to get some Kohl's cash. But I think I can actually do a little bit better. So let's actually, um, see if we can do a little bit better here. I'm going to go to raise.com. I love raise. I've probably, I've definitely spent a few hundred thousand on raise, uh, buying gift cards, Kohl's. So, um, looks like Kohl's has 5.2% off. Let's see. Looks like the average is about 4% off. So we take 4% off. We're going to save four bucks. We have to see if that's worth our time, you know, to do that. There's also a 1% um, Rakuten cashback, and there's 1% here. So if you take the 1%, what we can do, we're gonna get uh, $1 cash back. We're gonna get $1, um, let's see, $1 on the digital gift certificates that we buy, and we're also gonna get, um, looks like about 4% off of the price of the item. So what I would probably do is just go here, buy this 4% one, since it has $194, maybe even buy this $6 one. Use both of these to purchase this Kids Craft Let's Cook Wooden Play Kitchen. And I could send it in. It's going to cost me a landed cost of, what did I say there? We're at 94 bucks is my cost. And let's see, do they have a item price, 250 Okay, cost of product, right? So I'm gonna put $94 right here, and I'm gonna calculate. Okay, so it looks like if I spend 94, 95 bucks, I'm gonna clear $95 on this item. The reason I chose it, and I'm, I'm gonna say this again, a lot of people like to buy items that are in stock and have a lot of competition. And this is one of those gems that I'm like, okay, it's been out for 18 months. Um, the sales rank is high, but when we look at the customer reviews, they're pretty good, four stars, and there's been 43 of them. So there's probably been a good amount of um, these items sold. Plus, when we look down here, what do we see? Well, we see that there's a lot of videos on this item. This item must have been really popular a couple of Christmases ago. So, and it's allowing people to upload um, different videos. So because of the number of reviews, 43, now you have other ones that are um, have more reviews. And these will be competing with the other ones. But if you look at the um, some of these other items, they're probably selling far more of these kitchen sets. The rank's going to be lower. Um, and But the thing is, you don't need to sell a lot of them. You're making 100 bucks each, 95 bucks each. So if you put four of these out and maybe it takes two weeks, a month to sell, then that's fine. You know, it's not going to be a big deal. But I would throw this up for 250 That would cover all my cost. And what I always like to do is I like to take a few seconds and just make sure everything is the same because, you know, sometimes you get confused a little bit. And 
on this also, I'm surprised there's no Kohl's cash back this weekend. Let me see. Off when you use your Kohl's cash, Kohl's card. So if you're a frequent frequent Kohl's shopper, then one thing you might want to do is um, get a Kohl's card. And that'll be 15% off. Um, some of the times with these deals, and you'd have to read this one specifically, but the cool thing about Kohl's and a lot of these places is sometimes you can put a dollar on the Kohl's card. You'll get the whole 15% off the entire price. And then you can use, um, um, then you get a better deal on it. So let me see if I put in not 95 bucks, but I put in 80. I'm going to calculate here. See, now my margin goes up. Now I can drop the price a little bit. So maybe I do one on your and these are the things that you can play with before you even purchase an item. So what I would probably do is I'd probably price this at $249 to get it started. If I use the Kohl's card, I'm buying it for $80 because I'm, I'm only going to put a dollar on the Kohl's card and I'm going to put the rest on the gift cards. My net is $109. If things go not as, not as I expect, not as well, um, I can still have some leeway to drop the price. So let's say it didn't sell very well. And I had to go to 199. You know, I still have some leeway here, still making $66. I'm not sure how low I can go, but I, let's try it. Let's try to go a little bit lower. Now, this is worst case scenario if, you know, um, maybe someone hops on the listing or it's not selling well after a month or whatever the case is. I can drop the price down to 149 and I still clear 25 bucks on each one I sell if I use the coal card. So you have to think about these strategies before you actually buy anything. But um, just a quick side note, I mean, I, maybe I can find something else really quickly. Um, I'm looking at the pictures, see if they kind of match and see what we have here. I don't think there's enough margin on this one, but this one does look pretty cool. Okay, so th this is a toy item. I don't know how much margin we're going to have on this, but this is a possible another item that uh, randomly popped up. Again, I only scanned a few pages, a few hundred, but we have $19.99 here. I think with all of the um, incentives we can get, uh, everything, we can probably get it for 20% off. That's with Cole's card. That's with um, everything else I mentioned. So I guess that is 16 we can see here it sells for $39.99 and it's out of stock. So I'd probably jack up my price a little bit. Okay, cool. Okay, 10 Ace. So if I wanted to plug this into my calculator, I could scroll down here. Well, let me look at this. There could be multiples of these. Let's see. Ah, oh, this looks like the correct listing. There's another one here that's a different brand looks like. So I'm gonna scroll down. One thing I do like to do is I like to look at the quality of the listing. So for instance, this one, we have so many videos of this thing working that someone who sees this is going to be pretty confident and they're going to see the item and they're going to say, oh man, I have all these videos to see what it actually does. August, 2019. Ooh, 1400 ratings. This thing is selling like gangbusters. It's crazy. And 43,000 in sales rank. This is probably going up and down a good amount. See, whenever you look at uh, sales rank, sometimes you're thinking, well, this item can't be selling well, but the sales rank fluctuates. So, you know, maybe this sells better in the summer. Maybe it sells better in the winter. I'm going to do $39.99. I'm going to do a buy cost of $16. Uh, shipping this in shouldn't be too expensive. I'm going to put two bucks and we're going to see if there's any margin. I don't even know. Okay, six bucks. So, this is an item for me that would be on the line. And when I mean that, I mean, I can make six bucks off of each one probably when I sell this. And it would be something that has so many sales. Let's see if I can see it. Yeah, with 1,400, 1400 reviews, 45 answer question, and a rank of 4.4, this thing is selling really, really quickly. And if I look here, let's see how many people have it. Looks like there's, is that the only prime? new I'm trying to figure out which ones of these are prime it looks like they changed a little bit of uh, how they 
do their things. I think that's the only prime one. Okay, here we have one for $44.99, $45. So yeah, let's just go with $39.95. And with it selling so quick, I actually like these quick selling items also because what can happen with these is you can send in, you know, 50 of these at once and, you know, $50 times, sorry, 50 units times six bucks is 300 bucks. And it seems like it's only three pounds. The dimensions here probably fit five or six in a box. So it's probably going to cost about a dollar to two dollars to send in. And of course, that's uh, done by your location and all that information. But um, just in a few minutes, looks like we're able to find two items that are decent categories for what you can buy, what you can flip. Um, I'm going to close this down. But they're kind of the opposite ends of the spectrum when you look at this. So this is an item that's probably a hidden gem right here, right? So you have this item. Um, there's 43 ratings, so it probably sells occasionally, not too often, but it sells, sells occasionally, but no one's on it. So this is the perfect listing to get here. And if someone's looking for this specifically, yeah, there's ones for 188. There's ones for 179. Prices vary all the way down to 69. But this would be an item I'd risk it. If you can make 100 bucks, send in two of these a week. And I mean, if you can sell two of these a week at 52 weeks, 100 bucks a pop, I mean, that can change your business. That can be $5,000 a profit off of one item. Um, and this item over here is a bulk item. Basically, what you want to do is you want to buy, you know, maybe you start with 20. You send them in, you make uh, 150 bucks on 20 of them. And then you send in another 20, maybe 20 or 100 a week or whatever it is. And then once it stops selling, you get out of the game, you stop selling it also. But this is kind of the tale of two different items that are completely different. You'd buy them for completely different reasons. This is more of the um, niche item, not going to sell too many of them, but your profit's going to be massive when you do. This one is something you're going to be selling dozens or hundreds of these things because they sell so quickly. You might also want to check Keepa for this one, but the video is running a little long, so I'm not going to go over Keepa on this one. But you want to make sure that um, you do your research, check out all the little hit points, make sure you can actually sell this item because not everybody can, uh, you know, sell every item. Make sure ungated, do your proper research there and um, check your ratings, check your videos if you have videos down here. And um, every this this looks like an awesome item, looks like there's a lot of um variation so we have this one here selling for 37.99 we have one selling for 26 all the way down to 18 but it seems to be a pretty competitive item with a really good rating so even though all these are less expensive this one has the highest rating so do i go with the cheap one yeah it's um 1827 but the rating is a little bit lower i can go with this one rating is a little bit lower and this one has the highest uh customer satisfaction so you know, 73% positive. So that's the highest uh, customer satisfaction there from the item. Plus it has all these videos. So you have to check out those small details that I've mentioned here. You also have a lot of answered questions. Um, like the videos, like the reviews, and figure those information out. Um, like I said, anyone can find products using OA X-Ray. It makes everything so much quicker. In just a few minutes, and most of the time I actually spent... Um, not going over the uh, uh, how to run OAX, right? But I wanted to show you how easy it is. So I ran six pages, I think, and I have 589 items. You can see them right here, 589. It, it only took me a minute to run the rest of the video. I was just explaining things. So this is how quick you can take your time and you can actually go through these items with OA X-Ray and this is how much it speeds you up. That's why we say scout 50 times faster because if you were going out through this one at a time, 589 items would have taken you hours. But it took us a few minutes because we're able to go through. And one thing I did notice on the video is these some of these images aren't pulling up. So I'm going to make sure that we figure out a way to get all the images to pull because it's, it's missing a lot. But um these, these are the kinds of things that you find whenever you're out here. And this is why I do this, so that I can catch these kinds of things. But um, thank you guys very much. Have a great day. Make some money using OA X-Ray.